welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And um, today we are doing another Get Fit With Me series yoga edition. And we are going to continue with the practice. Um, we are now at day 28. So after this, we got two more and then we are moving on, going to be doing other um, videos and you know, switching the format of the channel a little bit once we're done with this. But this practice today is called Freedom. Um, from the thumbnail, it looks like we might have some fun with this a little bit. There, um, the thumbnail is basically, um, and this is with the fellow YouTuber Yoga with Adrian, continuing with the series of Centered for those who might be new to the channel. Um, <clears throat> so we basically are going to be doing from the thumbnail, it looked like it start with a downward facing dog with, you know, one leg up and kind of like, I, I don't know what the pose is exactly because I'm no, by no means, I'm no yoga expert. I'm just sharing my experience of how I do the video. And I like to do it with a twist because, you know, my pets, really mainly one of them likes to get involved in my practice with me. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this. And oh, random side note before I even, you know, intro the video even more. I originally was not going to film today. Um, and this is not the morning. This is actually the afternoon today. And normally I don't film on this day. I normally don't film when I'm doing it midday. But. I got the burst of energy and I like to take advantage when I have a burst of energy. So I have it right now, so I'm gonna film. But anyway, I just, I don't know why I felt the need to have to share that, whatever. Anyway, I hope you do enjoy this and we're gonna get right, well, it's worth, it's gonna be about 21 minutes. I probably should mention that as well. I promise I'm going to wrap up this intro. Promise I am. Anyway. See, this is what happens when you film on a day you don't normally do. But anyway, let's get to it though. You're starting off the yoga routine in, um, all, on all fours doing cat-cow. And then we're going to transition to a child's pose. We stay in extended child's pose, pose for a couple of minutes and then from there we're going to slowly get out of that and um, move to downward facing dog. After being in downward facing dog for a couple of breaths, we're now um, transitioning to three legged dog. From a three-legged dog, we are now, um, that same leg that was up, we're moving that to the front to a low lunge. From the low lunge, we're moving back to downward facing dog and doing the same thing on the opposite side.
Once we complete the movement on the opposite side, we're going to move to the front of the mat and stand work forward bend. On the stand work for Ben, we're going to root to rise. After doing a slight back bend um, in a mountain pose, we are then now moving back down to stand with forward bend. After doing that, we are now going back up to root to rise in a mountain pose, um, almost like a volcano pose, and then back down to stand with forward bend. And then from there, we're going to do a low lunge. The low lunge technically is transitioning to um, a plank pose. And I believe next we're going to, with the plank pose, we're doing some form of vinyasa, any of you choosing. So now from the vinyasa, we're, we should be a downward facing dog. From there, we're gonna repeat the sequence, but this time we're also including warrior one. From the warrior one, we're gonna kinda just start prepping for eagle pose with the eagle um, hands first. Um, and we're doing this on both sides, of course. initial eagle pose we then move back to warrior one and the idea is when we move back to warrior one we're supposed to do this without looking just trust that the ground is there and now we're gonna basically get ready to do this on the opposite side prior to doing this on the opposite side we also are going to add warrior two and peaceful warrior in this sequence as well
After we have completed this sequence on both sides, we are now going to do a vinyasa one more time. From doing the vinyasa and ending up in downward facing dog, we now are gonna uh, make our way back to the front of the mat um, in the form of a standard forward bend. From a standard forward bend, we are now going back to a plank pose again. Well. Um, for one foot back, the other foot back, to a plank pose, to a vinyasa. From the um, downward facing dog, we are now going to make our way back to that sequence we did before where we incorporated the eagle arms, but this time we're going to focus a little bit more on sinking a little bit further lower in the eagle pose and holding that eagle pose. So we'll be doing this on both sides. We have completed this sequence on both sides. We are now um, back to um, a plank and we're going to do a vinyasa one last time, I believe. Wishing
Once we complete the vinyasa, where we at downward facing dog, we are now um, going to be um, back to a seated position. The seated position of your choosing, you can, um, well, we're going to be doing a twist on each side. And then now from there, we're going to transition to um, slowly but surely ending the practice for today. Once we have done the twist multiple times on each side, we now switch from um, one form of a seated position to where we're slowly going to lie on our back. And from there, we're going to stretch both of our legs by putting one at a time knee to chest. And um, yeah. After doing a twist on each side as well, we are now going to go back to lying down with um, our feet on the ground, knees up, um, touching each other, but then our feet as wide as the yoga mat. You can either stay at this pose or move into a reclined cobbler's pose. And I chose to just uh, move to reclined cobbler pose. So that concludes our practice for today. Um, it was called freedom. I don't remember if I said that at the beginning of the video or not, but anyway, we're good. Um, how would I rate today's practice? Um, between scale of one to 10, I would give it a 7.5. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I wanted, the only reason why I'm, it's 7.5 and a higher is I would have either wanted A, and it's kind of a me versus like timing and all that thing. I would A, wanted the practice to be longer, but the reason why it was nice it being so short because I was able to just squeeze in during my lunch break. So that part was nice. So part of me liked that was shorter, but part of me wanted it to be longer, if that makes sense. Um, because it really was more of my style of yoga practice that I like to do. Um, a little bit more vinyasa based, a little bit more uh, flowy. So more of like a vinyasa flow. It was a little bit more of that. Um, there was definitely a lot of warriors in there. So that, you know, 
We know I'm a, I love my warrior stuff. That Aries energy. Just can't help it. But um, also the other thing I did like was there was some pieces of the practice, parts and bits, not that many, but parts and bits where it really was about the freedom of it all. Like whichever, whichever you prefer to do, you were able to freestyle. Technically in all yoga practices, you really can freestyle, but I am someone who's naturally a little bit more of a type A person. So I generally don't freestyle when I'm following a yoga instructor. The only time where I will do that is if like, I'm really feeling a pose. Like I'm really feeling it and I just wanna get in there and in my head it makes sense and flows along. Otherwise, I typically just stick with what they tell you to do. But in this practice, she mentioned like, hey, you wanna do this, do that? You know, she kinda just gave me some options. Um, even how I closed it. Because typically, especially in this particular series she has going on, she's been closing the practice almost the same, almost always. And I personally like it to be mixed up. So I closed in um, like in reclining, reclining cobbler pose because I was just feeling that. And also I, I worked out and did my legs earlier today. So it just was speaking to me. So that's what I did. But yeah, so anyway, you could tell I really did enjoy this practice of like some of the other ones that we've done recently. Um, we got only two more to go. And yeah, so if you like this content, even if you don't like the content, please just engage either way by like, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Um, Especially if you get anything out of the content, tell your friends, tell your uncles, tell everybody, hey, check your girl out. Um, anyway, it's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner, and I will see you. Oh, forgot to mention one more thing. Zero was there the whole entire time. He just didn't partake. He does not partake. I don't know what that's about. He does not partake. Um, he was on the couch. <laughs> um, yeah, he's my cat that loves to watch TV with me and lounge with me, and basically do the lazy stuff with me. And Whisper just wants to be involved in everything I do. She wants to be in all the business. Um, like she wants to help me work. I've, I've had to like stop her from doing that. <laughs> Cause at the beginning when I first got her, she's like, let me help you work. I'm like, no. Anyway, this is not a cat video. And this is me trying to conclude this. So anyway, Please like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you don't get anything else out of the content. Or if you do get something out of the content, either way, just do that. And I will see you next time.